Hey beautiful souls, thank you so much for being here and welcome. My name is Danielle. So today's pick a card topic is their current thoughts and feelings about you in this connection. So before I jump in and show you the crystals, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, there's three of them linked at the top of the description box. You could also visit my website, which is linked towards the bottom of the description box, or it's pinned in the banner section, divinehealingpath.com. Um, I have Oracle cards already pre-shuffled and selected. I will be getting channeled messages from your person, and I will be rolling the astrology dice and pulling the extra, or the tiles, <laughs> the initial tiles for extra confirmation. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's about as the, the fastest I've been in a while. So straight to the point. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, group one. You have the Light Seer's Tarot with the limestone. What's the other side? Group two, you have the Sugar Skulls Tarot with the fuchsite. And group three, you have the Tarot of the Haunted House or the Haunted House Tarot with the Rose Quartz. All right, so uh, you can choose based on the deck, the stone, maybe there's a special angel number in the timestamp. Uh, but without further ado, timestamps are listed in the middle of the description box as well as pinned in the comment section. And I will see you lovelies at your reading. Hey, group one, welcome. You chose the Light Seer's Tarot with the Limestone. All right. So let's see your person's current thoughts and feelings. All right, we're starting out with the Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, the Hanged Man. We have Pisces coming through with the Hanged Man. We have the Two of Cups. Uh, you know what? Who cares if they're crooked? I'm going to try and not fiddle with them. <laughs> okay, we have the Seven of Swords. Strength with Leo. Four of Pentacles. And the Nine of Wands. Okay, so I see someone here is a who is a little bit on the fence. Um, they absolutely have an interest in you. They have feelings towards you. Um, I feel like they are hiding some of their feelings. You have somebody that really, really wants you here. Um, however, they feel like they need a little more information, like they don't know everything. Now, it could be because the two of you are just in the early stages, you know, trying to get to know each other. Or this could be somebody that is coming back into your life or that has, sorry, rather recently come back into your life and you're just getting to know each other all over again. So there's a little bit of a pause here before they... <clears throat> really make a decision of whether or not to go all in with you. But with the Nine of Wands being here, I feel like deep down they're a little more invested and determined to be with you than um, they're willing to admit either to themselves or to you at this time. But I want to see why is the Seven of Cups here? So, yeah, I'm getting like an energy, the two of you taking it slow. I feel like you may not be in contact every single day. It might be like every other day, uh, a couple times a week, that sort of thing. But again, it could just be because it's the early stages and everything's like new or you're having that renewal phase. All right, so we have the King of Swords. Yeah, your person really wants to, they're analyzing they're trying not to get too emotionally involved, like throw themselves in emotionally. I feel like you may have somebody here that has a lot of like air sign placements in their charts. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, someone who thinks very logically. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Five of Swords, okay. 
So they are conflicted. They're not telling you that it is um it is bothering them holding back. Let's get one more clarifier. Why is the five of swords here with the seven of swords? Yeah, because they want to they definitely want to pursue you. They they <laughs> There I am, losing my words. Person's losing the words. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they have romantic feelings. They want to rush towards you, they, but they don't want to let their emotions completely take over and, you know, run the show. Okay, clarify Ace of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, taking their time. I feel like the two of you are really just getting to know each other here. Learning about each other, going slowly going deeper, but I feel like it's definitely not in a rush quite yet. But your person is pretty much um, wanting you. I feel like this person wants a commitment. All right, so let's see what else. Whoop. All right, we have the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Moon, Pisces, and we have the Three of Swords. Okay, so you have somebody that's been hurt in the past. Now, I don't know, that could be with you in this connection. If this is somebody from your past, they could be thinking of the previous experiences. Um, being a little bit worried here, but I feel like for others of you, they don't want to rush and then end up having their heart broken. I feel like this is a fear of theirs, like coming on too strong, things going good, and, you know, taking that leap. And just jumping right in and then things just go um, south. So they're a little bit guarded at this time. Still wanting to get to know you. I feel like this person has a lot of questions. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of getting for some of you. They might even pop into like they might randomly text you or pop in your DMs just asking like random questions out of the blue just to get to know you a little more and I feel like at times some of you are <laughs> maybe looking at your phones or your email or whatever thinking what the heck where, where is this coming from so random um but yeah this person really wants to know I feel like everything there is to know about you but they're very curious about you but they have their guard up All right. So for your oracles, we have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, so yeah, it could be the two of you have separated before and you're just coming back together. Another message I'm getting from the separation card is not necessarily that you're separated. It's just that, like I said earlier, you might not speak every day. It might be like every other day, maybe once a week. So there's a little bit of, um, it's not always consistent. But they see... that you guys are worth taking the steps, making the effort with that nine of wands, even, even if it is a little bit of a challenge, even if they have fears, they see you as worth making the effort for you and this connection, because they do uh, see the two of you as very compatible. They do have romantic feelings for you. They do care about you a lot. And I feel like there's, um, with the two of cups coming through, I feel like when you guys have conversations, they're very relaxed and I feel like the two of you have a lot of fun. You have a lot to talk about and um, it's very harmonious, the connection. All right, so 
Yeah, they're definitely analyzing this right now. They have feelings. Romantic feelings. They, But they're trying to be careful. And they're not, um, they're holding back their emotions just a little bit. Trying to, you know, protect their heart. But they do see you as worth taking the, the effort. Making the effort. Sorry, taking the effort. You know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so... Trying to decide which message cards I want to grab. Okay. I think I'm just going to stick to the old cue cards today. So I'm going to pause this. I'll be right back with your message cards. All right. I'm trying not to go too crazy with the message cards today because sometimes I go, I lose track and yeah. Okay, so we have anxious avoidant attachment. So that could be um, either your style or theirs. It could be both. I can't tell how you feel. They do see potential soulmate um, energy with you. If I asked you to choose me, would you? We have ghosted left on red. So this could have been the energy or experience that the two of you have had before. But I also feel like with ghosted left on red, it's not necessarily that um, they've gone and ghosted you. I feel like what is coming through is uh, what, ha what I had mentioned before about the communication just not being consistent. Not that they're purposely leaving you on red or ghosting you. I feel like there is an interest here. Um but it's just not like necessarily an everyday conversation exchange. I have a lot on my plate right now. Yeah, and that could be why um, they're not returning the messages right away. It's because they have a lot on their plate. Maybe they just, um, when it comes time to, like, I'll give a, a practical example. Have you ever had, I guess it also depends on the type of person, right? So... Okay, I, I'm going to use me as an example because it's, it's a lot easier. So there's a lot of times where I personally, I think of people and people that I miss, people that I want to talk to, and I could be spending all day thinking about the person, thinking, hmm, I wonder how they're doing. I hope they're doing well. You know, I should really reach out to them sometime or I'd love to hear from them or, you know, whatever. And then, you know, work gets in the way. I, I'm busy doing stuff here and you kids it just just life right so and sometimes something unexpected pops up so it has taken my focus off of wanting to reach out I still want to reach out I still want to talk to those people but sometimes it's just life gets in the way uh, certain responsibilities pop up that were unplanned, unexpected, and it takes the focus off of that current thing. So by the time I get around to, you know, my downtime, um, I'm usually too tired to have a conversation. My energy's depleted and I don't want to spark up a conversation when I'm not going to be all in, like completely focused. So, um, your person could be like that. Maybe you're like that. And let me know in the comments if you're like that too. If it, if you're the type of person that, you know, won't reach out to somebody or won't strike up a conversation if you're just um, energetically not into it. Or, you know, energetically just depleted, exhausted. You can't focus. It's like trying to read a book and you're stuck reading the same line because you're trying to stay awake and falling asleep even though it's a book that you are really wanting to read you're just tired so yeah that could be like your person having a lot on their plate right now I feel like they are thinking of you they do have the intention to come towards you and message you reach out but things keep getting in the way I have a lot of past trauma that I need to face they could be dealing with something personal here I'm having a hard time letting go. So whatever um, 
feel like whatever is on their plate right now, they're having a hard time letting go of that. I'm so angry. I just need more time. And I feel like <laughs> whatever it is has pissed them off. So I'm definitely getting like this is has nothing to do with you. That has nothing to do with you. I think we should be friends. That could have been something that was expressed in the past. I hope you are happy and fulfilled. What I'm getting here is they really want to get to know you more again before diving all in. They do see you as very compatible. They enjoy their time with you. And for them, it's not all just about um, romance and physical intimacy or sexual intimacy. They want to build a solid foundation of, you know, friendship as well with you. So it's not that they're turning you away saying, oh, I think we should be friends unless that was you're resonating with that and it, it's showing up in your experience as that has happened. You have no idea how long I've wanted you. Yeah, this person wants you. So I feel like the fact that they haven't been able to reach out because they have a lot of stuff going on is really pissing them off because um, they want to come towards you. I want to invite you over and cook for you. They could be wanting to make up for the lack of um, conversation, communication by inviting you over and spending some downtime with you. You have changed my life forever. So you've made a significant impact on your person's life, which that came out like that message, not this message, but that message <laughs> came out in uh, the reading I posted most recently or yesterday, depending on when this goes up. I stay away because you told me to. So some of you could have told this person to get lost. I miss you so much. And they're missing you. I feel like when they're not um, messaging you, they're missing you. They have wanted you for quite some time. And like I said, they're hiding their feelings a little bit. They're trying not to be too over emotional when it comes to you because they want to um, take their time. They want to get to know you more. They want to, I what I'm hearing is be smart about this. So you have somebody that's really thinking logically, logically and rationally here. And it could be in the past, their past experiences, they went all in based on emotions and maybe it just, things would fall apart apart <laughs> and they don't want that to happen again so they're not repeating the same patterns oh i forgot your astral okay well i already have a handful here so we're just gonna there you go okay so we have what are you um hold on a sec this is the sixth house, I believe. Yeah, sixth house. Virgo. We have Cancer. Scorpio with the eighth house. And we have Sagittarius. All right, we have N, E, Neo. I'm also seeing getting like neon. Someone born in the 90s or 80s. We have I, A, Ian. I'm also getting Fiona. I, A, N, R, X, H. I, E, Rena, Rena, whoops, 
Okay, I keep seeing hex. So, I don't know if you have some have some of you um recently had like a black magic removal done or protection spell on yourselves in this connection because I keep seeing hex EDT I seen Tony B U A T blank that could be anything and we have I seeing Ethan could have Heather Hunter Daniel Danny, Danielle, Dana. I'm seeing the word friend. I'm also seeing fiend. <laughs> um, Fran. I'm also seeing frat. Date. Could have Anthony. And Andrew, Andrea, Andre. Alex. Beth. Bethany. I'm hearing Beth Ann as well. I'm seeing the word diet, so someone could have changed their um, eating habits or life made some huge lifestyle changes. Nadine. Nadia. I think I'm going to leave it there. All right. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. So let me know if you see anything else in the tiles. And yeah, so that is what I have for you, group one. Thank you so much for watching. I am wishing you and this person all the best. And hopefully you hear from them soon. And yeah, thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey group two, you chose the Sugar Skull Tarot with the Fuchsite. Welcome. All right, let's see. What is group two's person's current thoughts and feelings? Don't mind my squeaky chair. All right, first off, we have the Nine of Wands. The Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, so it could be Divine Counterpart Energy. They could see you as very compatible, a lot of, a lot of like. Two could be both very rational people. You could also be Air Science, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have the Hanged Man, Pisces. Okay, what else? The High Priestess, Pisces coming through again. Well, I guess the Hangman is more connected to Neptune, which I'm pretty sure is only Pisces. I didn't study my list quite yet, so. Uh, we have Page of Wands. I didn't do my homework, sorry. <laughs> All right, we have The World with Capricorn. Yeah, I know the bottom's cut off and it might be a pain in the butt. Um, 
but you can see most pretty much the entire card you just can't see the the title and we have justice with libra but that's also why i show you guys the cards all right so yeah it could have like air signs for sure okay How are they currently thinking and feeling? Okay. Well, they're holding back something to tell you. They're holding back um, the truth. But I feel like you guys intuitively know what that is that they want to tell you. I feel like it's going to bring about closure um, for something between the two of you. And maybe open up a new beginning as well. Because the world is you know, coming to completion. Um, beginning a new cycle as well. It could also be about traveling. So some of you could be long distance from this person. Yeah, I'm getting truth. They have something to say. And I feel like it's really eating at them. So, let's see. Why is justice here? I feel like it'll restore the balance with the seven of pentacles. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys know they have something to say to you. And I feel like it's going to completely change uh, this connection. But what I'm getting is change it for the better. Now, whether or not, like, again, some of you are just completely, you're just looking for closure. So this person may be finally coming forward with some sort of truth or something they need to say that's offering closure for you. Uh, others of you, you just want to resolve something so you can move forward with this person. <laughs> okay another thing I'm getting is that some of you have already called this person and or like called them out on this and inquired about it or hinted at it numerous times so <laughs> this person suspects you know but they're also doubting that like oh maybe they don't and then I'm just imagining things but I feel like some of you haven't let it go because you know, you know they're hiding this freaking truth. And you're like, just, just spill the beans already. Just tell me. <laughs> All right. So come on. Tell me, tell me what this is. Don't be stubborn. Maybe your person is stubborn as well. Eight of Wands. Okay. Yeah. Communication. You're waiting on communication. You're waiting for them to tell you something. It has to do with the truth. But it's not telling me what it is. Your person's not budging. Hold on, let's get more. Okay. Uh, let's see. Clarify page of wands. Five of Swords, there's been a conflict. Yeah, this has to do with a conflict. Clarify the world. The Sun, Leo. 
Okay, so there is going to be a positive, like I said, a positive shift. But why is your person holding back? Okay, why? Clarify the hanged man. Four of Wands. Uh, it could be some of them are already... Someone's taken, someone's unavailable. That could be why. The, sometimes the Justice card could also talk about contracts, marriage. Um, so, other them, maybe you, it could be both of you are in another connection. So, this could be why uh, they haven't come forward and said anything express their feelings but this isn't so much telling me a lot about well we're not done so we're gonna see more on their feelings but yeah they're thinking of coming towards you messaging they could be holding back communication because there's somebody else involved I'm also getting, okay, um, for the third party, it might not necessarily be romantic. It could be family that's getting, that's interfering. I mean, it's still a third party, but again, not romantic. So, how is this person feeling? How are they feeling? Ten of Wands. Well, this is really weighing on them. They're stressed. We have the Queen of Cups because they have feelings. The Hierophant. The Taurus. And the Hermit Virgo. Okay, so yeah, this is really bothering them. They're holding back feelings. They they do have feelings. Uh, yeah, and some of them could be committed. This could be like a family thing. Maybe family doesn't approve. Could be very um, strict, very have certain beliefs. And that could be why they're not coming towards you. But I feel like this person actually wants to break free of that and go off on their own and do their own thing because they're they're not um they're not happy where they are right now. Whatever's interfering, if it's another person, whether family or uh somebody else, they're they're not happy. Because this person actually really cares about you. All right. So, yeah, they're stressed right now. So, for your oracle cards, we have wedding. The situation involves marriage. Yeah, someone could be already committed. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask false self mask in this relationship could have also been I'm getting arranged marriage depending on where you are where you live this person's not happy with who they're with They got married out of obligation. Yeah. Um, and again, unfortunately, that's a sad thing too. Like some people, 
it, it happens, but sometimes people get married for various reasons or, you know, maybe certain things happen later on down the road and people aren't happy, but they stay together um, for whatever reason. It could be, it could even be like family shaming them. Like if they, it could also be very like strict traditional beliefs that maybe divorce is frowned upon so but this person is not happy which is really sad I mean I, I suppose it's <laughs> horrible to say but I mean I suppose you know if you're here having feelings for this person it's I'm sure you guys wouldn't want to hear oh yeah they're happy with with the third party and they don't care about you that would obviously no one wants to come to a reading and hear that as well but um they're not um they're not happy in this third party connection family um or marriage engagement whatever it is and i feel like you guys know this And you know that they're lying to themselves. Could it even be like hiding it from you? But yes, this person does have feelings for you. They care about you. They think about you. They definitely want to communicate with you. I feel like you've been waiting on, waiting on it for a while. But you guys know what this is about and you know what they want to say or what they have to say. I don't know why I'm going to shuffle this. Usually I just pause, but yeah, I feel like a lot of you already know what they're going to say to you or you suspect. It could even be word for word. All right, so I will be right back with your message cards. All right, let's see what we have. Whoops. What am I doing here? Okay. I can't fight my feelings anymore. Family is important to me. Yeah, so it could be family that's um, interfering. They could also have children that, you know, maybe they're worried about. Um... The other person, the other spouse could be a bit of a narcissist and very controlling. Maybe, I feel like honestly you guys don't even see like the whole picture of what is going on behind the scenes here. Um, like I know a lot of the times we give a lot of shit to people that, you know, want to leave relationships or maybe they have other feelings for other somebody else or they develop feelings for somebody else uh, while still in a relationship. Well, yes, it's very easy to say, well, why don't you just leave? Like, if you're not happy, just leave. It's as simple as that. It really, in some situations, yes, but in other situations, no, because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. If there's children involved, it could be something as stressful as if you leave me, you will never see your kids. And maybe this person can't afford um, a really good attorney to fight for the kids. And maybe this is the only way they're able to see their children. We, we never know what's going on. I know a lot of people like to judge because, I mean, it does hurt if you've had that done to you, like you've experience someone leaving you for somebody else it does hurt and you know I've had that happen to me too um but at the same time we don't know what's going on there there's more to the story sometimes yes people lie and sometimes yes people can be cheaters and take advantage of people just to have a good time because they're not happy um but sometimes there are 
really decent, kind people um, that are maybe having a hard time, too scared to leave a situation. And actually, funny thing is, <laughs> I was thinking of this. Um, something just popped into my head before I even did this reading was a lot of the times we're scared to make changes out of fear, doubt, shame, or guilt. And now I'm like, I, I can pair, I can, uh, put that in my own situation, um, for making changes in my life. But I mean, now that I think of it, <laughs> that makes complete sense given this reading where your person could be like gaslit, manipulated. People could be shaming them for wanting to leave. Family could be, you know, oh, well, you know, you need to stay. You need to be there for the children. You know, you got to put your kids happiness before your own. It's not about your happiness. It's about theirs. It's not about... So your person feels stuck in a situation they're not happy in. And they feel unsupported um, with wanting to leave. And it could be that their family's opinion is very important to them as well. So they could be worried and scared that they're going to, going to disappoint family if they do make this choice. So I wouldn't take it per, we have, I am manifesting you by the way. So this does not mean that you are unimportant, unimportant. They think about you. They want to communicate with you. I feel like they probably think about you more than you realize, more than you know. But they are having a tough time right now. I rushed into another connection and I regret it. So I feel like this person wants to manifest you. They can't fight their feelings for you. So I feel like, yeah, I believe we are meant to be together. So I feel like it's just a matter of this person telling everyone to shut the hell up <laughs> and put themselves first. We have thank you for the lesson. I'm going to reach out. We have more than friends. My friends and family know about you. Okay, so yeah, the friends and family know about you and they could be saying shit. So I have imagined our wedding day. So this person thinks about being with you long term. I'm ready to take the next step. And that could be finally, you know, filing for divorce, filing for separation, just going with it. I've tried to numb up the pain. So, they could be um, developing unhealthy habits, coping mechanisms to numb out the pain. Best friends. Love at first sight. You could know each other through friends or you could have been friends. I enjoy your company. I imagine having kids with you. So it could even be like blending families, maybe uh, having, bringing the other children, if there's other children, and also having children together. But this person imagines having a family with you, imag imagining marrying you, being with you. I feel like when this person is stressed, thinking of you relieves the stress and the pain and the heartache. I feel like your person retreats quite often and um, 
maybe even visualizes with manifestation here, um, living their life with you, visualizing their wedding day with you, um, having the children run around and, you know, having a dog, getting, seeing a golden retriever. <laughs> But yeah, so your person really needs to, I feel like, tell everyone to shut the F up and take the necessary steps or speak their mind, especially if they're being guilted or shamed for wanting to leave a situation. All right, so that just got a little dark and heavy, but you know, uh, it is, that's what wanted to come through. <laughs> okay, so we have third house Gemini. We have Aquarius, Virgo, and third house again, Gemini. I'm seeing the word moody. <laughs> Your person is moody, which, you know, I wouldn't blame them. So we have mood. We have E, C, A. A, R, we have another O, could have Eric, oh we do have an I, we have L, I, seeing Dolce. We have U, T, N, R, air, could have air signs. O, Y, Tony, R, seeing cola. Aaron, Eric, Aaron, both Aaron's, the uh, A A A A run. <laughs> uh, what else do we have here? Roy, Lana, Lonnie. Seeing Mary, Mark, Marcy, Marsha, Alan, I think that might be it. Marty, I'm seeing Marty. May, Ray. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. So that is what I have for you group two. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully if your person is in this situation, hopefully they find the strength and courage to um, set boundaries and leave all right so yeah i'm wishing you and this person all the best thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye
Haker 3, you chose the raw rose quartz with the haunted house tarot. All right, let's see your person's current thoughts and feelings. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, give me a moment. I forgot what that, whether that was the page or the night. All right, so I couldn't find my little guidebook, but I went through the cards, so I'm going to have to quickly give them a little shuffle. Okay, so... All right, you know what? Sorry about that. I completely effed that up. Just going to redo. I'm going to start fresh. Okay. One more time with feeling. Okay, so for group three, what is their person's current thoughts and feelings? Okay, so we have the Five of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. All right. Jeez, that's a freaky looking car. Freaky looking uh, devil there. I don't think I've ever pulled the devil in this deck. Hmm. Okay, so... I don't know, a lot coming up here. They want... Um, something new with you. I will say that. Okay, we have the High Priestess. All right, card came out again. <laughs> it was meant to be. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. The Two of Swords. And the Five of Wands. Oh, wow. What is... Okay, so your person's having a hard time between fears and intuition, doubts and fears. I feel like there's people around them um, causing a lot of confusion when it comes to what to do, the next move to make towards you. Um, feel like your person's very frustrated, feeling defeated at this time. They're definitely in a lot of pain here with the Ten of Swords. I feel like they obsessively think of this. Like they're they are really in their head here. Okay, so why is the, there's regrets here as well? What I'm hearing is I don't know what to do, but I'll regret if I don't take a chance. Okay, so let's clarify. Why is the five of cups here? Hermit. Okay, we have Virgo.
They have some lot of um, deep regrets that they, they need to really get clear on. I feel there's times where they don't even know why they have regrets. Like where it's coming from. But I'm feeling like some of them could have done something to you that caused this painful ending. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Ten of Wands. My goodness. Okay. Yeah, this ending is causing a lot of grief. Why is the Devil here? The Fool. This person is scared to make, take a, have a new beginning. They're scared of starting over. This reminds me, it's a, this happened like my last reading, but I strongly feel like this is a continuation. It could be a continuation of group two um, because this, there's some heavy energy here, whereas group two, it did have some, um, in my opinion, <laughs> from what I was feeling in the reading, it was, uh, there was beautiful energy, but there was also kind of like heavy energy as well. So you might want to watch that one because I feel like this could be a continuation. So this person is having a hard time. They're fearing breaking themselves free, starting over, taking a chance. But again, I was hearing, I'll regret it if I don't. I don't know what to do, but I'll regret it if I don't. I feel like um, the universe or whoever the, they believe in, God, higher power, Jesus, whoever, Buddha, I don't know. <laughs> whoever, higher power, higher self. Um, I feel like there is an opportunity coming their way to set themselves free, but... They're, they're scared. All right. Why is the two of swords here? Ten of pentacles. With the page of swords. Some of you, they're not sure whether or not they're fully, like, ready for commitments. Um, with the page, this is, like, younger energy. So it could just be, like, they could be fresh out of school. Maybe they don't have a lot of relationship experience. Or I'm also getting... Also the message, and this came out in group two, that this person was committed. So this person thinking of whether or not to go off on their own. To break free from that. Do some re I'm also getting they need to do their research before making a decision. Like they need to get all the facts. Like... I feel like as much as they, yes, intuition is very important and trusting your guts, but I also feel like um, spirit or again, the universe, God is giving them an opportunity to set themselves free. And it may have to do with, you know, gathering some information. Why is the Five of Wands here? All right, we have the moon. They're having some major internal conflicts. All right.
with strength. And I'm seeing that infinity symbol. So the infinity symbol may be significant to you in your connection. That also reminds me of the magician card. So what I'm seeing here is that your person does have a lot of untapped potential. I feel like there's potential that they don't give themselves credit for. They're not seeing. Um, I feel there's a lot going on in their personal life that is causing a lot of chaos that's making them feel doubtful. Could even be somebody saying like hurtful things towards them that is uh, bringing up doubt and fear. That is keeping them stuck. Okay, so. What is, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. All right, we're the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's opportunities opening up for them. They need to be smart, not rush. I feel like spirit is giving them opening doors for this person. All right, so how is this person? I feel like this is talking about more what's going on with them, not so much their thoughts and feelings about you. But they're having fears. Okay, so... All right, so how are they feeling and thinking about my group threes? Nine of Pentacles. They feel very grateful for you. Page of Wands. We have the Four of Swords. Um, some of you, you communicate and they really appreciate the conversations you have. I feel like when this person talks to you, they feel like they get a good night's rest. Like the little monsters there, they're under the bed. Like they're not bothering your person. They're, they're in a the deep sleep. They're relaxed. You help this person and they're grateful for that. They're grateful for your energy. They're grateful for you sharing your time with them for listening to them I feel like to them you feel like home you feel like warmth and peace joy happiness you're the opposite of what they are experiencing currently in their life and I feel like for them you could even be like a safe haven pulling them out of the darkness even out of their own darkness. We have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is reminding me, like, again, I feel like this is giving me, like, group two <laughs> vibes. This person wants to give to you. feel like they're in another situation, but... They want to invest elsewhere. We have the Ace of Swords. That's a dark card. While I was getting the message, you pulled them out of a dark place. You could have literally saved this person's life. And they're grateful for that. Clarify the Ace of Swords. The Four of Cups. The truth is, they're not happy with where they're at. Okay, so apparently we have a theme going on today. Um, but they appreciate you.
Okay, so what is going on with this? I gotta know. Because I, I strongly feel this is a continuation of group two. So I feel like for a lot of you, uh, the majority of these messages might be like really confusing, which just take what resonates. Um, get rid of anything that doesn't. I would say you might want to check out group one, maybe. If it's not making any sense whatsoever. Or maybe check out a different reading because it just might not be your reading today. But I feel okay. So anyways, I'll sh <laughs> shut my mouth now. <laughs> We're going to see like what is going on with the third person. Like because I'm feeling, I don't know. All I'm sensing is that it's dark. Like it's cloudy. What I'm before I pull any cards, I'm seeing cloudiness. I'm seeing gray, dark, nothing vibrant. Now, mind you, we're looking at a lot of cards that are <laughs> dark, but I'm just seeing like foggy, cloudy, nothing like happy and inviting. Like the, these beautiful cards, or even this one, which looks dark, but. Again, she's sleeping peacefully. She she doesn't even know. Like, she doesn't care about these little monster hands that are coming up. Okay, so what is going on with this third party? What's going on with the third party and your person? Come here. The world's. Wheel of Fortune. So this could be karmic. Karmic cycle playing out. Wow, we have our all major arcana here. With justice. Queen of Swords. Okay, so the Queen of Swords... Yes, she, she sets her boundaries. There's a lot of positive qualities about her. But she's also very cold. She doesn't show a lot of emotions. Okay, this tells me that, yes, your person is married, but I feel like with um, the wheel here, I feel like this is coming to completion. I feel like your person was supposed to, well, karmic, they're supposed to learn a lesson through this experience, through this karmic partner. Okay, so what are their intentions with my group threes? What is this person's intentions with my group threes? And they see, anyways, going back to this, they see their person as this person, third party, cold, uninviting, harsh. But how do they feel? What do they want with my group threes? Six of Swords. They want to get the hell out of this situation is what they want. Healing. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, they really, they feel passionately towards you. They want to rush towards you. Yeah, Chariot. Cancer Energy. They are feeling pulled to come towards you. And the Ace of, oh yeah, a lot of passion, man. <laughs> okay, so. Like I said, you're like the light in the darkness. You're the, yeah, the light in the darkness.
and again, maybe you didn't watch group two, and I'll, I'll give a brief summary. Sometimes I know like it, it's, it's hard energy when you hear somebody is with somebody else and, you know, we say, or we're, we're told we're conditioned in society and told, well, there's also beliefs and, you know, values, um, that morals as well. But I feel like there's a lot of times that we're told we have to do things a certain way that it's appropriate to do things or not appropriate to do things or what steps you should or shouldn't take or what you should or shouldn't do what is right what is wrong you know you're a good person if you do this you're a shitty person if you do that there's a lot of judgment um and again it all has to do with upbringing and we end up you know eventually learning our own morals and values as well but I feel like there's a lot of times like we don't understand other people's situations necessarily. And, you know, me personally, I've done it too. Um, I've judged other people based on their circumstances. Like, for example, before I was a parent, <laughs> I used to see other parents bringing their kid into my work or, you know, out and about with their kids and I'd be like oh I would never do that with my kid like how are they even doing that with their child like yada yada blah 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 I used to be that judgmental person and then I had kids and yeah that that uh humbled me <laughs> so it's kind of like one of those situations where it's you don't know and yes it's easy to say well if you're not happy just leave if you're not happy, just do this. Sometimes people develop feelings for somebody else when it's not the most favorable time. Ideally, yes, I'm sure your person knows that, you know, in a perfect world, it would be they would have left and found you. But unfortunately, or fortunately, maybe you are like the person that saved this person. Maybe you came in as a blessing. Things don't always unfold that way. So I feel like your person is just working through it. All right, so yes, they feel passionately towards you. They have feelings for you. They're not happy in the other situation they want out. Um, this person is causing a lot of fear. And they're not, they're not satisfied. They're not happy. Now, I will say it's also very important as a side note to make sure that you work on yourself before jumping in looking for, oh, I'm not happy with this person. This person will make me happy. So it's very important that, and it could be like we have the hermit over here. Your person could be doing that soul searching, really understanding themselves on a deeper level and learning to love themselves before jumping in to something with you right after leaving a situation or leaving a situation for you. Um, because happiness isn't outside of them. If they're never happy in relationships, there's something deeper going on and they need to do the work. All right, so here's my hot take. <laughs> okay, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel like the two of you could have been getting to know each other. And again, this thing could have started out harmless.
Calling in your soulmates, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help. I don't know why I just pause there. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay, so I feel like we did have that Ace of Pentacles coming through. They could have been calling in their soulmates. Um, again, in Pal 2, I feel like if you're resonating with this, highly recommend checking out Group 2. <laughs> All right, so... They see you as their soulmate. They want to find the soulmate. They want a connection where they feel happy, fulfilled, where the two of you are appreciating each other, loving each other. So I feel like, yeah, they feel empty in their current situation. Uh, definitely unappreciated. But I feel like they, they want to continue to get to know you more I feel like they don't necessarily expect to rush towards you but I feel like again spirit is offering them an opportunity to leave their current situation to get out all right so um let's grab your message cards <laughs> okay I'm gonna shuffle these out and I will be right back all right, let's see what we have here. I think I got carried away with the messages again. <laughs> okay, I have conversations in my head with you. You belong with me. Long distance relationships. So it might not necessarily be a physical distance, but it could be... Um, You feel distant from each other. I'm scared I might say something foolish. You are my muse. So this person draws, um, you inspire this person. They draw creativity through your connection. Uh, do you know how amazing you are? There's a lot that I haven't told you. Summer fling. Will you marry me? I have asked a tarot reader about you. I feel like they they could be reaching out asking, okay, like, what do I do? Does group three want to be with me too? Uh, when I fall asleep? When you fall asleep, I whisper in your ear how much I love you. So this person, I feel like, is energetically with you at night. We have no contact. I feel a sense of peace and warmth when I'm around you. First date. I've never loved like this before and it scares me. I've been doing shadow work since you triggered me. Man, I really went crazy with the messages here. I tried seeing other people, but I'm just not feeling it. I also feel like they're not feeling whatever relationship they're in if they're in one I'm always checking you out I'm mentally preparing to tell you how I feel I don't want to make the first move I was completely convinced I had lost you I deeply value trust and loyalty yeah so this goes back to what I was saying, like they could have been brought up and again, you know, a lot of opinions, scared of being judged. Um, but the, so they're, I feel like they're doing like some soul searching when it comes to their values here. Because it could be that they're going against their values. Like, this isn't something they would normally do, but they're feeling called to come towards you. Like, they're developing feelings. And it could be they haven't, like, you're, you could be having conversations that are completely innocent, but they're developing feelings. 
and they could be holding back because they value loyalty. So I feel like they could also be a little bit hard on themselves right now, really judging themselves um, because they're developing feelings or they have feelings for you. And it doesn't look good to other people. Like they're worried other people would judge them. I could get lost in your eyes. And we have compatible. All right, so they see the two of you compatible. They love uh, your eyes. They find your eyes very beautiful. All right. So we have 11th house, Aquarius. Um, Taurus, Aquarius, fifth house, Leo. Well, I got to say, <laughs> it has definitely been an interesting read today. Not what I was expecting going into today's reading, to be honest. <laughs> And usually that is the how it is. Like sometimes I'll get messages which I shared in group too that okay, yeah, that makes sense why that popped into my head before. Um but yeah, so <laughs> definitely um unexpected. We have K E E E H W J I S P this could be your SP I'm also seeing Jewish so could have some um, some of that uh, is it Faith, religion, yeah, um, Jewish uh, faith or upbringing. I'm completely messing that up, aren't I? Yeah. We have L. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at myself here. Don't know what you're talking about, Danielle. Okay. <laughs> we have LTO. E. I'm seeing poet. Could have poetry, could be writing poetry, um, inspired by you. We have O and A. I'm seeing Joe, Joel, Jolene. Now I'm going to have that song in my head. <laughs> Uh, what else do we have here? Could have Kevin. Chris. Christy. Uh, also... So Chris, Christy, Christine, Christina, Christoph, even Christopher, maybe with K's could be C as well. But what else do we have? Jet. Ashley. Kyle. Um, Whitney, I 
I'm seeing PETA, like the Hunger Games. Could have Julie. It could be spelled like J-E-W-L-E-E. -E -E or J-E-W-E-L-E-E. -E -E, like, different. Or Julia. Could have EJ or TJ, JT, John. All right, so, okay, I think I'm going to leave it there. Oh, I'm also seeing tea. Could have some tea drinkers. Okay, yeah, I'm leaving it there. So that is what I have for you, group three. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, hopefully it resonated with somebody. I know we went, it got a little strange there today. It was definitely, again, unexpected. So, uh, yeah. And thank you for listening to my hot takes. <laughs> so I'm wishing you guys all the best. And hopefully you and this person can work things out soon. Hopefully they can um, find the confidence to work things out themselves. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing SP and LOA. Law of Attraction, Law of Assumption. Yeah. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.